An investment has a 16% chance to lose money in a quarter. The returns of each quarter follows IID normal distribution. What's the probability of losing money by the end of the year? So this is a rather straightforward problem. I suggest you pause here and try it yourself before watching the solution. Let Xi be the returns of investment in quarter I. We were given that Xi is normal, but we are not given the parameters of this distribution. We are told that the distributions are identical and independent. So we know there is no covariance and the parameters uh, of the distribution would be same for each of the quarter. So let's assume that the parameters of this normal distribution is mean is A and the standard deviation is B. And so we have uh, x1, x2, x3 and x4, the returns of quarter 1, 2 and 3, 4 respectively, which are distributed normally with mean A and variance B square. We are given that there is a 16% chance to lose money in a quarter. So that means the probability of xi being less than 0 is equal to 0.16. xi is our return in quarter i and a negative returns means we are losing money. So that probability is 16%. So here we can transform these variables into z scores. We subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation on both sides of this inequality and then we take this part as z and the, ri the right side becomes minus a by b is equal to 0 0.16 so now we can use the standard normal table to find the value of minus a by b from standard normal table we can find minus a by b is equal to minus 0 0.99 and we have to find what's the probability of losing money in the year. Now, if we add the returns for each of the quarter, we'll get the returns for the entire year. And if uh, that return is less than zero, that means we, we would have lost money. So we create a new random variable y, which is equal to sum of returns for each of the quarter. We know that the xi's are normally distributed and they are independent. So the new random variable y has a mean equal to sum of the means of xi's which is equal to 4a since each of these xi's has a mean a and variance equal to 4b square because the xi's have a variance of b square so the sum of that would be 4b square that's because we don't have uh, any covariance term because xi's are independent So the probability of losing money in the entire year is nothing but the probability that y is less than zero. So now we subtract the mean and divide by standard deviation to convert these into z scores on both the sides of this inequality. We take this part as z. The right hand side becomes two times minus a by b. We already have found the value of minus a by b in the first part, which was minus 0.99. Once again, we use the uh, standard normal table to find the probability, which comes out equal to 2.34%. So this is the final answer.